Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NAK. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out and answering a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its open, and then you look at where the price closed up there, any rational person is say, yeah, the, the bulls definitely made a very, very nice move today. In fact, pretty crazy. Uh, I learned it first thing in our chat room around 53 cents and to see where the price ultimately went. Very, very nice move. So if you're a member of the community in chat room and you're watching this, congratulations to you. Well done getting in right around 52, 53 cents. So anyways, the big question, like I said, the price made a very nice move, but that does lead now to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around an update here that I'm about to do. But before I do that, just gonna do a little house cleaning and get rid of these lines here. Sure, they pertain, they're just not relevant to the chart right now. But that first update comes about from a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support, especially in this case. Well, why is that the case? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 54. Any sort of closes below there or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls, pulls back here, Actually, let's say it does a pretty drastic pullback, goes all the way down there, and then behaves in that manner. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have the previous set of lows down here. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have overall stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, quote unquote, make progress, I'm defining once more as 54 cents. As far as levels of resistance, not even gonna touch on those because they're not important. Top priority right now is just all about going through those healthy consolidations and building higher lows because as long as, long as higher lows are being built over time, everything else will take care of itself. So we'll see what happens with it, but no doubt about it, very nice move today. Let's see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.